That's right, my friends. He dwells in the midst of your praise. It is now time for MPIAW, Motivation, Prayer, Instruction, Action, and Worship. And I have with me a special guest inside MPIAW. He's a gospel recording artist. You heard him just now, the song I was playing, I Have a Little Faith. And that's what we're doing this morning. We're doing it by faith. And we're connecting with this young man. His name is Thrig Taylor. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Doing good. Blessings. Blessings. All right. So good to have you this morning. Of course, you know, I won't take up a lot of your time because I really want you to go into a motivational word to the listeners of Love 101. I know you're a gospel recording artist. I know you're a producer. I know you're a songwriter. You're a a teacher, you're, you, you fill so many hats, but I know you will be sharing with us this morning. But just before you go into the word, tell us a little bit more. Who is Trey Taylor? Go ahead. Well, Trey Taylor is just a little, he's a country boy, you know. Um, uh, worship leader. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one of my main passion is really music. And, uh, you know, just spreading the word of God, which is true music. Um, a, a father, a husband. And that's about, that's about it. You know, very simple, basic, you know. <laughs> All right. So I really want you to go into uh, this morning's word uh, just to allow the Lord to lead you this morning as you share uh, this motivational word with us here at Love 101 and, of course, the listeners of Love 101. So go ahead, my brother, and do your thing at this time. Yeah, man. I'm just here to speak to someone under the sound of my voice. You, you know, sometimes we're going through stuff in our lives. And I just want persons to know that everything that you go through is for a reason. Um, a lot of times we see people having certain things that are reaching to a certain level, having the anointing and, and just being powerful in God. And sometimes we open our mouth and we say, I would like to be like that person. But if you knew the process that the person went through, and if you knew the grooming that the person had to go on, and, 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 and all the sufferings that the person had to go through in order to learn wisdom and to gain strength and understanding, if we knew all of that, maybe we would take back what we said that we care, we want to be like that person. So I'm here to tell somebody, you're having it rough. And, you know, it has been rough for a good while. But everything that you go through, in life is for a reason. Most of these great men in the Bible, these great men in the Bible, they all went through something. And all these great men, we, we heard about the strongest man in the Bible. He went through something. And he went through it the hard way because of the gift that was upon his life or the strength that he got. You know, it came to him, which is really rough. I, I think at one point, um, a lady deceived him and he was there held as a prisoner, um, chained and everything. His eyes were plucked out. He, he went through it. All of these great men, David, before David could reach where he, he reached, he went through it. He went through it. He has to be running for his life. Um, we might, might not get it so drastic as, as some of these men in the Bible, but they all went through it in order to gain, which is their anointing and to gain where they, they reach. So I'm, I'm here to tell you that you're going through some things and you're going through some things in your life. And I'm here to tell you that you can, you can overcome. And once you overcome, sometimes these things that we have, they are called testings. They are called testings. Um, they are called testings. And we, we, we look at one of, the, one of the greatest inspirational story in the Bible. And what story was that? Was Job. <laughs> oh my God, Job, Job went through it. And at one point when Job looked to his right, where his wife should be, his wife should be at his right hand. And what did his wife say to him? His wife said, oh, why? no man, you live for God and everything I touch for and this is how you get. No man, curse God, man. curse God and die. When he thought that his, his tower of strength, which was his wife, he was the person who, told him to curse God and die. And but Job held his feet because he knew the God that he served. And he knew when everything else failed, only God 
could preserve him and only God could restore him. And God restored him and he got back all that he lost. So I'm here to tell somebody, yes, you're going through a rough time. You're, you're going through struggles. You're, you, you went through it. You have scars to show. But I'm here to tell you that if you endure, and if you trust God, sometimes it's just for us to trust God. Now, some of these things is just for us to, to learn how to trust God and to depend on God. Sometimes we depend on the wrong source. And then when we depend on the wrong source, it brings us more trouble. So I'm here to tell you, whatever you're going through, whatever you're going through, whatever you're facing, God is the source of your strength. God can restore you. God can. There's no mountain. There's no valley too low. There's nothing that God, there's nothing too impossible for God. Nothing impossible for God. So I'm here to hear, hold on to God. Hold on strong to God. Because he's where your strength is going to come from. And he's the source. So God bless you. Yeah, man, just keep on holding on to God. Keep on pushing. Keep on, keep on. And, and, and a lot of times also, we say we do believe God. And at the same time, we're there taking painkillers because we have headache, the pressure gone up, and everything else such forth. Do we really believe? Do we really have faith in God? If we turn things over to God and we pray about it, but at the end of the day, we're still praying, we're still um, fretting about it, we're still having headache. That, that, that's a, a sign to show that we don't really trust God. I, I there, there was a time in my life when it seemed like all hope was gone. It was a valley experience, but it was a, a mountain chapter. And everybody around me was maybe even dropping down. Everybody was, you know, and because I knew the God that I served, I knew the God that I served, I just was relaxed. And people was wondering, oh, this man brought you so much things. And this man is so relaxed. Let me tell you, when you know God for yourself, and when you know what God can do, and when you know, when you're proving him over and over, you are, and you know you're safe in his arms, that relieves some of your stress and so that relieves some of your worries. So somebody that is listening to me this morning, I'm here to tell you whatever the problem is, whatever the situation is, God can. And if you believe it, you will receive it. God bless you. Indeed. Indeed. I know, I know you're trying to stay within a certain time, but I know you're a gospel recording artist and you're also a songwriter. And I listen to some of your songs, you know, there's a song you wrote recently. It's called I Speak Life, you know, um, Have Your Way. And the song we heard just now, Have a Little Faith. And the reason why I was really inspired to bring you on, you know, I, I heard an interview you had with um, DJ Rebirth. And you were sharing a story how you wrote the song, Have a Little Faith. So I really wanted to share with the listeners of MPIAW um, that story, you know, along with, you know, you know, as the Lord leads you this morning, as it relates to other aspects of that story and, and how, how it all, all unfolded. Yes, man. So I was, I was talking to DJ Rebirth the other day and in an interview and he was asking how um, the song came about which is have a little faith and i can tell you that um most of the songs that i do write as i as i shared with him they are from life experience i said i just don't get up and just put songs out there every song has a season and so every time i, I put pen on a paper it's my life so one person asks me certain questions and everything. I said, well, how? He said, well, listen to the song and you will know exactly where I am. And uh, about eight months, about eight months ago, my wife, she was pregnant and we were looking forward in her having, which is our second child, which was a girl. And she went, which is to the hospital. And when she was checked in, the doctors, they were there and they had to cut her because the baby was breached. It did not turn and they went ahead to do the surgery and i was there maybe from the time that she was supposed to give birth was there waiting five hours six hours still can't hear anything but in the time that i was waiting you know when they cut her is that when they were taking out the baby some complications um started and she started to bleed 
she bleed so much that all of her blood from out of her body was out of her body, drained out. Every bit, all of her blood, she have, um, which is, um, at, at, I think they said that the body must have, must have at, I'm not sure if it's five or six liters, but whatever it was, it was all, all, all out. And the doctor, when he was there, he was saying, all right, send for some blood. And they were saying that, so it's 4.5 liters, all right? Yeah, man. So the doctors were saying that there was no blood in the hospital. And it's about 50 minutes before blood came. And the doctor said she don't have 50 minutes. I don't think she, think she even have five minutes. All the doctors that were in the hospital room, when they saw that all the blood was out and she was dying, they gave up. They said that this was it. This was it because there's no blood. And the blood is about 50 minutes away and she don't have even five minutes. Our doctor, he was there. She, she, just when my wife was about to pass out, and she started passing out, she started, the doctor started to do something unusual. The doctor was in the operational room and he started to call in here, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And you see, I'm here to tell you that even when the, 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 the physician uh, think that he lose hope and everything, who did, does the physician call at Jesus? And the doctor started to call at Jesus, Jesus. And all the doctors there, they said like, all right, she's, she's basically dead. And they don't, the doctor that was there calling on the name of Jesus, he started to plunge. Um, different chemicals in her body to keep her. My wife is fair in color, she's brown. And when they looked at her on the bed, she was basically darker than me, was black. Mm -hmm. and, and my wife is not um, fat, wow. but she was swollen big on the thing and she was black. They could not recognize her. Mm -hmm. And the doctor, they plunge and plunge and plunge the chemicals there in her until the blood came. And when the blood came, and they put the blood in her. They were wondering if she would, she would recover and if she would wake up. But I know that God was a healing God. Mm -hmm. And when she woke up the next morning, and she woke up, the nurse said, welcome back to the, to the land of living. Because oh. everybody keep on passing her in the hospital. She said, see her there, find you. So she was furious, wondering why everybody pointed at her, because she was a talk of the hospital. Mm -hmm. They said that, the doctor said, look here, mom, it's a good thing that that doctor stay with you because all of us gave up. If it wasn't for him, you'd be a dead woman. But we know that it was really not only the doctor, it was Jesus moving through the doctor. And when the doctor came in the morning, the whole hospital started to clap the doctor, started to call him Superman. So, you know, when everything was there and, and, and you know, Everybody look at her, they understand that she's a miracle. But I'm here to tell you that I know the God that I serve. And when you're a child of God and when you live for God and, and you please, please God and, and you have purpose over your life, it will not die. And the, the song that I wrote, because she was there believing and she was there praying. Mm -hmm. Even when she's passing out, she was there praying, calling on the name of Jesus. And I'm here to tell you that faith, if you have faith, and the song that I wrote was have a little feet, have a little feet. If you just have that little feet, the side of a mustard seed, look here, a lot of things can come from that feet. So I'm here to tell you, whatever the situation is, life and death situation, God is a healer, God is a deliverer. And I've proven him over and over. And this is not even half of the story. Mm -hmm. wow. The story is how God has delivered and come through. Wow. So I'm here to tell you that God is a healer. Indeed. Amen. Indeed. So I, I, I'm really excited about the story. You know, I really, I saw your wife. I met your wife the other day and your wife is healthy. She's looking good and everything. Yes. You know, and um, your family, you have a lovely family, a son and a daughter. You know, yes. so I'm really happy of how God transformed your wife. You know, even this, e this evening I was coming to work, man of God. And, um, you know, funny enough, normally my routine on a Saturday evening, I don't normally engage in any physical activity because I play football at times. You know, I play, I, I do goalkeeping 
And I remember this evening, um, the gentleman, are, as a matter of fact, one of the gentlemen, he called me from about Monday, Tuesday, and said he wants me to play um, in a competition. Like they're, they're putting on a competition, so they want me to keep in the goal. So I said, all right. So I committed and I said, you know, this I don't normally do that because I have to get to work by 12 o'clock. So up until about 11.30, I was still at my home um, this evening because I played football. I was in pain and everything. And when I came here, I said, God, you know, I am feeling this pain. And I said, God, if if you're with me, as soon as I sit in this chair, I'm just feeling that all of this pain and all of this anxiety and um, fatigue and all of this thing will just go away. And And, and that's how God works. Um, I know I didn't ask you, but I really want to know, um, are you prepared to minister a song to the listeners this morning? Because I really want you to flow in the giftings which God has given you. I really don't want to, you know, are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Okay, okay, great. So I'm really hoping that you're able to minister to the listeners of Love 101. Um, I'm not sure if you can play anything on the keys and, and, and sing a little thing for us in terms of ministry. Because I really want you to flow in the gifting which God has given you this morning. Are you able to do so? Well, I, I just have to get um, the keyboard on. And you can flow from there. All right. So um, let's let's take a, lit, a little quick break. And then when we return, we will do so. All right. This is Love 101 FM, the family station. The Kingston Open Bible Church presents the 50th anniversary service of the Abiston Kinder Preparatory School, celebrating the legacy, continuing the journey. The service was held on Sunday, February 27. The speaker was former General Superintendent of the Open Bible Standard Churches of Jamaica, Reverend Dr. Alston Henry. That's the recording of the 50th anniversary of the Abiston Kinder Preparatory School, brought to you by the Kingston Open Bible Church. And you can catch the highlights this Sunday, March 6th, at 8 a.m. right here on the family station love 101 i want to be like jesus all right so while we're awaiting the man of god he's going to tell us when he's ready all right so we have some messages here on whatsapp of course the man of god will be ministering to you in song and he will be also praying over your requests of course this one says good morning man of god and blessings to you thank god for the words of encouragement Please keep me and my children in your prayers. As it is written in John, we want to be holy, um, ghost filled with fire. Glory be to God. Of course, this one is coming from a listener. Another one says, good morning, man of God. Can you please pray for me? I have a back pain, a knee, and um, healing, uh, prayer for healing. Uh, Tia from Kingston is saying, good morning. Um, praying for supernatural healing, deliverance. Um, so I'm seeing the messages coming in. Um, just said, just net. Um, she's saying, Hey, Trig, um, blessings, bro. All right, so that's my friend from St. Mary's. So I'm guessing you know some of these St. Mary folks uh-huh. <laughs> because you're yeah. from that side. Let's take a few voice notes this morning. Good night, Bolero. I'm asking for prayer. Mm-hmm. Uh, please pray for me. You know, my name is Vivian. Yes, Vivian. From St. Elizabeth. Thank you. Bless her. Pray for us. All right. Bless you, Vivian. I need to come out of the wheelchair. Wow. Oh, my God. Please pray for me to come out of the wheelchair, sir. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you indeed. Uh, another one here says, please pray for me that my power, my powerful, okay, power uh, with God, um, need faith, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Please pray that I'll get some men to work on my farm. Another one here says, good morning. Request is for those who have lost loved ones, especially from Norman Nugent from Flint River. Loved ones, all right? Um, Jasmine from Christiana, she's saying, good morning, Rishin. I would like you to pray for me that I get a proper place to live and healing in the feet, especially, um, night, my ankle. Uh, so that one is from Jasmine. Another one here from an overseas listener, uh, is Suzette. All right. So the man of God is ready. I'm going to be 
segueing into that in a little while, but I'm seeing your messages. I'm seeing your requests coming in. Um, I'm seeing one coming in, coming in here from Jennifer McDonnell. Um, she's sending in her prayer requests. All right. Uh, this one says, good night, man of God. Can you pray for me? I need to be closer to the Lord. Elaine uh, from Spanish Town. Another one here says, this is from Shauna from Spanish Town. So a lot of my friends over there in Spanish Town, they're on board. They're on board at this time. Uh, what else is here? Let me see if I can. Um, Tamika. Tamika is here. Prayer for husband. Um, Karen Rowe. Uh, not seeing your message. Another one says, good night. My name is Grace. I continue to ask for prayers for healing from stroke. I also need financial blessings. Thank you. Another overseas listener here says, good morning, brethren. I'm requesting prayer that the Lord bless, guide, and prosper not for profit organization I started. For profit organization I started. I, I believe it's non-profit or profit, but it says profit to provide uh, mentoring, life coaching, skills management, at risk, and unattached youths. Claudette Rodway, um, prayer for two sons, um, pain in his knee, other blood pressure is high. I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ, um, gifts gone dormant, will resurrect again. Um, that's the request of that, that listener. Um, and let me take another voice note. So let me play this one. Good morning, Brother Roshane. I didn't get to hear none of what was going on. I'm just woken up. Okay. And I'm just in time to catch the request. I'm asking for prayer mm -hmm. for me and my family. We need a breakthrough. We need deliverance. Indeed, <clears throat> indeed. Indeed. God bless you. God bless Indeed, you, me. my sister. Thanks for reaching out. Um, sister Monica, please pray for me. I still have the pain in my feet. Um, please pray. I can hardly hear um, um, in my right ear. Yvette, um, healing for me and my baby girl. Um, this one says, my daughter, um, even though um, what? Her age, she's not baptized. I need help. Please pray for her that she'll be focused more on God and take up her book more and the Bible. Another one says, Good night, man of God. Please pray for my family and our business. So, at this time, ladies and gentlemen, I know the man of God is ready. He's going to unmute right now and he's going to share his ministry with us this morning. So, man of God, over to you. We need you. We need you, God, to break every chain. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Break chains. Oh my, oh my, my, break chains, God. Oh, break chains, break chains. Oh, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. In the name of Jesus, oh, there is power. In the name of Jesus, to break every chain, 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 chain. to break every chain, chain. And there's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army is rising up. Break every chain, break every chain. 
Break every chain, every chain in your life. Gonna break every chain. First, we want the Lord to have your way. Have your way. Oh God, have Lord, I pray that you would have your way and help me with this Lord that I carry. Some lonely day, I feel so far away, oh God, and I just want to be, Lord, by your side. Let this be your prayer tonight. Tell the Lord to have your way. Oh, yeah. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way in me. When I call you, you always answer. When I pray, everything starts to change. Lord, I trust you. I know I'm covered. So I pray, have your way. Oh, my, my, have your way, have your way over our lives today, God. Have your way over our mind, over our mind, Lord. Have your way in me. Indeed, have your way, Lord. Have your way. It is Love 101 FM, the family station. You have just heard the ministry of Trey Taylor. Have your way. Every chain will be broken this morning as the man of God will be praying over your requests at this time. Make the time 101 right here on Love 101. Over to you, man of God. Great ministry there from Trey Taylor. Over to you as you pray for those who sent in their requests, those who are on Facebook, those who are on YouTube at this time, who are in need of a, a turnaround in their fortunes at this time. Go ahead, man of God. God, we thank you, God. We come before you tonight, God. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. That there's none like you. There's none to be compared unto you, God. So we lift up your name high, God. We stand in your presence. We stand before you humbly, God, seeking your face, God. God, we come before your throne. We come before you now, God. And we pray, God, that you will heal, deliver, and set free, God. God, we put all those persons before you, God, all these prayer requests, God. God, we pray, God, that you heal. We pray, God, that you deliver. We pray, God, we stand in the gap for our brothers. We stand in the gap for our sisters, God. God, I pray, God, that you will have your way in our lives. We pray that you have your way in their lives, God. God, you know the cry. You know the hurt. 
You know the pain. You know the suffering. You know the challenges. You know everything, God. And God, we put these people before you. We put our brothers before We put our sisters before you, God. God, we pray, God, that you transform. We pray that you renew. God, we pray that you refresh. God, God, we give you glory, God. God, every dead situation, we put it before you, God. Every sickness, God, we put it before you, God. Every financial crisis, we put it before you, God. Because you have a God that is able. You have a God that is able, exceedingly abundant to all things, God. And we give you glory, God. We depend on you, God, because you are the source of our strength. We depend on you because you are the tower of strength, God. You are our motivation, God. You are our inspiration, God. And God, we come before you tonight, God. For that person who is sick. We put them before you, God, because you are a healing, you're the bomb and killing. And every sickness got to go. God, for a person that is having financial crisis in this time, God, we pray that you deliver. We pray that you provide, God, we pray that you open doors, uh, doors that have never been opened before, Lord God. Uh, God, we put them before you, God. Uh, Oh God, all oh, for Christ, all oh, for Christ, God, we put them before you, God. We believe that you are God and you are able, God, to do all that is asked, God. And God, we come before your presence, God, tonight. This morning, God, we come before your presence, God. We come before your throne. There is nothing good that we have done to deserve your glory, God. It's nothing good that we have done, God, to deserve your grace, God. But God, we know you are our Father. We know you are the Deliverer. We know you are the sin cleanser, God. We know you are the burden bearer. We know that you're a lawyer in the law in the courtroom or a doctor in the sick room. And God, we put our trust, we put our hope in you, God. And nobody has been put our hope but you, God. Because only you can satisfy, only you can refill, only you can refresh, God. So God, we come before you tonight, God. Every prior request that was asked for, God, God, we put them before you right now, Jesus. We pray to touch that person that is going through that rough time, God. We pray to touch that person who is mourning, God, to give them strength to endure, God. God, we pray that you help them to understand that when they trust in you, that all good things come from you, God. So, God, we thank you for what you're about to do. We thank you for what you're doing even now. We thank you for where you're about to take some of us, God. We thank you for where you're about to elevate us to, God. And we give you glory and we give you honor. All faith, all trust is in you, Jesus. God, so if it wasn't for you, God, we would not be here, God. So we give you thanks. And we believe that all the things that we ask for that is done, that is already answered, Jesus. Have you in our lives, God? Have you in our lives, God? Deliver, 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 deliver. Oh, God. Oh, God. Heal, 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 heal. Heal, 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 heal. Heal, heal the broken heart, heal the broken heart. Oh my, 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 my. That marriage is that is going through a rough time, God. You are a lover. You are love. You are life, God. And we pray that you restore, 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 God. Restore, restore, God. Restore. Oh my, 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 my. We believe that you are a healer. We believe that you are a restorer. We believe that you're the bomb in Gilead. And we believe, Lord, we believe, we believe. Right now we come before your presence, God. Because there is no one else that we can call on in the midnight. In the midnight, in the early morning, no one else to call. But you're always there, God. You're always there, God. Always making a way. Always making a way. We come before you right now, Jesus. 
We come before you. We believe that you're doing it and you're doing it and you're moving things. You're shifting things. You're shifting things around. You're shifting things around. Ah, Jesus, help us to believe, God. Help us to have faith, God. Because without faith, we cannot serve you, God. So right now, for that person that is under the sound of my voice, you know the issue that you have, you know the problem that you face. God is delivering, God is making a way, he's making a way, he's making a way. Right now, we thank you, Jesus. And we thank you for what you're doing, what you're about to do in your wonderful name. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Amen. And amen. Eight minutes after one o'clock, right here on the family station, Love 101. Really blessed by this young man's ministry, Trey Taylor, gospel recording artist, music teacher. So many hats this man wears. He's a praise and worship director. He's a choir director. He's so many things. He's a video recorder. He's a video editor. He's an audio editor, producer. You name all of these different hats. This man, God, has been using mightily in his kingdom and we know that god will continue to use him mightily ladies and gentlemen of course at this time the phone lines are now open this morning for you to call in and just to bless this man of god just to encourage this man of god and also really looking forward to hearing some testimonies it's been, it's been a while we have always been getting calls people asking for prayer people asking for deliverance but we really want to hear some callers this morning those who would like to share a testimony those who have been impacted by this program, has this program been um, impactful to you on a Saturday um, night or some say Sunday morning? Really want to hear from you this morning. Or just hearing this young man's um, testimony. I know he has numerous testimonies, but just a testimony shared about his wife, his family, and how God is still in the mirac miraculous, miraculous, work, miracle, miraculous uh, working business. You know what I'm saying. But I really want you to give us a call in the student line numbers 876-968-8327 or 876-968-8328. Those are the numbers to reach us in studio. Again, the student line numbers uh, 876-968-8327 or 876-968-8328. All right. So while we are awaiting the first call this morning, really trying to do something a bit different this morning, really going by the Lord's leading. Normally we have a program and we just flow uh, with the program, but we're still inside the segment MPIAW. We're giving you a, a mixture this morning. You heard the man of God ministering in worship. So it's MPIAW, Motivation, Prayer, Instruction, Action, and Worship. I know the man of God would have shared with you a song earlier when he's, Sing the, he sang the song, Have Your Way, Lord, Have Your Way. And, of course, you heard him praying just now. Again, the number is to reach us in studio, 968-8327 or 968-8328. And as I said to you, I know this man of God is listening, and I know I'm really blessed by his, his, his songs. And we're going to play one of these songs at this time. Not able to play it on social media. I'll try to turn it down a little bit in studio, but those who are listening on the radio, you'll get to hear a bit of this song. The title of this one is I Speak Life. And we're going to get back to the man of God as he will be giving you some instructions this morning as we speak life over those who are feeling low at this time. We're speaking life over those who need, need to be strengthened at this time. That's what we're speaking is life. The Bible declares that life and death are in the power of the tongue. Remember, you can reach us in studio at 968-8327 or 968-8328. This one from Trey Taylor, I Speak Life. I want to All right, so let me see here. Oh, what's oh, uh, oh, I was talking to myself a while ago. Oh, the listener went. 
So those that person that just called me just now on the phone line, I know you weren't able to hear me because I brought down the music, but you can give me a call at 876-968-8327 or All right, I speak live. Financial problem. All right, it's coming down this morning. All right, man of God, I know this is another song we heard the the one earlier, uh, uh, the one we played earlier. Have a little faith. This one, I speak live. It's very um, easy. Uh, it's a very um, catchy song. I like the the rhythm, the flow, and everything, and it's simple. I speak life over your problem. Tell us about that song. I speak life, sir. We had we had just moved out of a good time, which is harvest. Yes. And we moved into COVID nineteen. And when we moved, and um, COVID nineteen came on, mm -hmm. I I was a music minister at the church, and. Uh, being a music minister at the church, because COVID, the whole church had to be locked out and closed and everything and such forth. Wow, wow. So a lot of person had lost their job. And I was in that batch also, which is the church never had the funds, which is to pay me as a music minister and all those things and such forth. Now moving here as a family man now, doing music as a for a living, we wonder where would um, finances come from, yeah. which is to finance the whole family and all those things and such forth. And in that moment, I I could I did not accept defeat. I had to open my mouth and start to speak life over things. Wow. Start to speak life over finances. Start to speak life over problems. Start to speak life. And it was just right, right then. That that song, that song was written, which is about maybe about maybe four or five years ago. Oh. But if I write a song, if the season is not for it, mm -hmm. I, it will not be released. And wow. that song came just in time. And can I tell you, when I, life and it is in the power of your tongue, as, as the song said. Mm -hmm. So when you open up your mouth, speak life, and I start speaking things. Mm -hmm. And can I tell you that God worked out things, worked out things in my behalf, where mm -hmm. in time of COVID, in the time of drought, God yes. opened up. We have a caller. We have a caller. Caller, are you there? Yes, yes, brother Rashen. Hi, good morning. How, how may I help you this morning? Good morning. I just want to I heard the man of God's story about his wife. And I was walking on the road and I had to stop and lean upon a wall and listen to it. And my heart goes out to him and his wife and to thank God for him that he was strong. Yes. And that his wife should never give up. And I know she loved the Lord. If she wasn't a lover of God and a friend of God, she wouldn't, she wouldn't overcome yes. whatever it was in, yes. in bringing forth her child into this world. So I'm thanking God for her and him. I'm thanking God for the man of God, that he would continue whatever he's doing for God and that God will keep on loving him and his family. All right. And I'm also asking him for a prayer for a neighbor. He, she was a good friend of mine. And now she's sick and she, she has a stroke. And she's not able to be active anymore. Yes, yes. yes. And also for my daughter who fell down and um, mm -hmm. she has an operation. And I'm thanking God for, for being with us okay. and helping us through our circumstances. Yes, indeed. Jesus. All right. Thank you so much and God bless you. All right. Yes. Brother. All right. Bless you, my dear. Really, really want to thank my sister there for calling and just, you know, encouraging the man of God. She said that she had to stop. I wonder why she hoped this time of the morning, you know, walking, walking 12 30 in the night. I, I, I'm not sure if the curfew always changed from 12 o'clock 
Um, I'm not sure if I missed a memo or something, um, but oh, let's let's leave it there for, for now. <laughs> of course, you can call in and encourage this man of God. Of course, you can um, you can call in also and to share your testimony, how this program has impacted your life. You know, the, the encouraging word this man of God shared this morning is Mike is muted. I really want him to continue. He was sharing his story about speaking life. I know the, the scripture there in Proverbs, I believe it's Proverbs chapter 18, I think 22, 23 or 21. I think it's 21. Proverbs chapter 18, I think verse 21. Well, let's take another call. Caller, good morning. You're live on Love 101. Good morning, Brother Ashley. Hi, good morning. How oh, may I help you this morning? I, I, I hear the man's story. Mm -hmm. The man of God's story. And I've been touched. I know that he's God. God, God moved in a mysterious way. And he wanders to perform. And he was so strong that God delivered. Even the doctor. Oh, God, when I hear tears come up my eyes. I say, God is real, brother Hussein. God is real if we only trust and believe him. And lift our faith. Man of God, be strong, be powerful in the Lord. But I know. He will do great and marvelous things. But I was saying, I'm glad for your, your, your program. Because every night I listen to your program. And I get more strength. I get more stamina in the name of Jesus. Oh, brother, what can I go through? But I said, I will not give up. So the storm and rage on the back of the hand. And the way you look dark and scary. And no, oh, my God will deliver. You pray for me while I pray for myself. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, my Sister friend. Aslam. Let me know Sister, you, Sister Aslam, let me know say you, man. Yes, <laughs> you don't have to tell me a name. Let me know your name already. I, those who are listening would not know it's Sister Aslam from Clarendon. All right? Bless you, God bless you. All right. Thanks for calling. It's such a pleasure. I remember, uh, man of God, while we're talking, you know, um, you know, of course, you guys know that I would have been assigned to the morning shift. So I worked. Monday to Thursday, and, um, you know, I thought about giving up the weekend shift, and um, this was one of the programs, it was really, it's it, it, this program has been a, like a baby to me. I, I'm man of God, you can unmute, because I believe your mic is muted at this time. Yeah, man. But this program has been like a baby to me, you know, I thought about, you know, um, taking a break from the weekend shifts, you know, but I'm still motivated um, yeah. because of this segment called MPIA. W, motivation, prayer, instruction, action. So I'm really motivated to bring on guests like yourself. You know, I wanted to do it a bit different this morning. Uh, let, us, let us see if I can take another call. Caller, good morning. You're live on Love 101. Morning, brother. Hi, this, this, this foreign over here, a long time ago, you're in a foreign I know, man. This, uh, Sister Mervis, so how you go, foreign? Yes, man, I mean, that's something to the king, I know. Dig a fire in a go, call on there, there are times when you are, you are called upon to sit in with the king, you know. Yes, indeed. And have yourself rejuvenated and, you know, re-empowered and, and just keep giving out, giving out. You will find yourself tumbling over. Yes, yes, indeed. I am taught a lot of things. Mm -hmm. That when the tree need to go go upward it need to stop and send the root downward yes indeed yes indeed or else it will topple it grow too much at top mm -hmm. and don't have the requisite root yes and in my experience i've seen a lot of turnover fall over mm -hmm. yes way up the top fall over yes 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 yeah yes. man i am always testimony is something that always interests me mm -hmm. i love testimonies yes yes that is what tell us that the prayers work. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So you know as I the word that came to me the other day I've been going through may I have my own Bible around here, you know. Explain that. You say your own Bible. You mean you, you, buy, know, you, buy, you buy it at the store and uh um... download a notebook from me. <laughs> we on the road coming up when anytime we start running fast, me just make, make sure so me put pin up a special notepad, you know. Wow, wow. So from way down the road, my whole heap of notebook was God said things to me personally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm. in teaching and instructions and whatever about yes. various things. Yes. You know, what I'd like, you know, the other day I see one, I, 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 I just called to say it. Mm -hmm. 
I saw no, uh, uh, one of them in my notepad as I went to the notepad say, no power, singular nor multiplied, can overthrow a single child of mine whose life has been entrusted to me. Mm-hmm. Yes? Yes, yes. That's what I saw in the notepad coming from way down, must be about 2003 or somewhere there. Wow, wow. No wow. power singular, no multiplied. Wow. Can overthrow a single child of God, of his, whose life has been entrusted to him. I have been to that death door already, you know. Mm-hmm. I was sick, sick, sick. I was in college at the time and I, I, I got dengue, my dear. Wow. On a weekend when the when the, the nurse got I was on when the nurse was on weekend. Mm-hmm. And there was a practical nurse, so we call nurse let. I don't know what she did, but all I know I, I vomited everything. I felt like my back was dislocated. Wow. I almost felt like I see my coffin. And it was terrible. Wow. When the nurse came back Tuesday morning, she said three quarter dead student and it, the other nurse didn't even call the nurse and tell her that there was a very sick um, student in the sick day. That sounds like a long time ago, Sister Mervis. Yes, man. 1967, 68 year. 60, 1967? Yeah, man. 67. Them, them tell them my mother not born yet. Sister no, Mervis, man. No, that may tell you some may come. Long, long time then, though. They man. come from a distant. Wow. And wow. she called the doctor, the college doctor, and the doctor came and everything they, they gave me stuff. He couldn't pass my throat. Wow. And I heard when the doctor said this is the only thing left if you vomit this day, nothing else. Wow. Yes, but the Almighty brought me around, my body went weak. Mm-hmm. And it took quite a few days before I got my strength. Yes, indeed. So coming back to the word, not, not, no powers. Sometimes the Almighty allowed the devil to go on to them things, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. We have to understand as Christians that, remember Job and all them people, you know. There are times when God allowed the devil to get on with him thing and then he said, right here, so it stops my time now. We just encourage some brethren and some people, you know? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yes, yeah, so as we listen to the man of God speaking and encouraging him too. Yes, yes. And bless him, blessing him up. Yeah, man. So I mean, love you when somebody talk about this God like him still around doing things when he used to do. And bless you to Brother Russian. Bless you, Sister Vervis. <laughs> and a young man, I love you. I just love to see the young men coming forth, you know. Yes, indeed. I pray if enough more of them come forth, man, because I don't know what, you know. But something happening in the world of men. Well, there are two young men on this morning. Um, you know that, may I tell you? Yes. yes. I'm a feel proud, you know. Yes, indeed. The man, I the same, he said, feel proud, proud, man, in fact, I heard till it's right, proud, it's a drop off a ground. Wow. The madman said that, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> Be proud of the young men, man. Yes, Who indeed. come forth and my prayers is behind all of you for love there. Bless you. Bless mm. you, the sister morning. Maris. Me listen to the morning one of them too, you know, but only that me busy. Oh, you listen to me in the morning as well? Me listen to love. Me, li- me listen to everybody for love. Okay, that's nice. Lovely. And because you don't hear me call some program, but me listen. Okay. And then, uh, and things, you know, but sometimes I have to switch to a station to All right, nobody, nobody, tell, nobody the, tell me to listen to them for switch. The system because of this. the ministry, because of the kind of ministry where I run. Okay, okay, I understand. I keep myself informed and get information. All and, right, not a problem. You know, all over the place because of widespread things. So, bless up all of you, man. What the brother name? You should have read of that. You just a call him man of God. And when me, when me Trey, get on. Trey Taylor, Trey Taylor, um, he's, he's on. Brother Taylor, hello, Brother Taylor. She, he, he speak, he's speaking. Go ahead, Brother Taylor. The Lord bless you, my brother. Yes, man. Thank uh, you, man. And bless uh, you also. And continue to grow strong, you know. Yes, hey, you know what yes. tell God teach me? Sometimes we have to stop and make the root go deep. Yes. Before we, the Lord take we higher. All right, we tap it, yeah? All right. What well, we're doing? All right, so I give everybody that up as you climb. There are times when God stops with to send that root deep down. You know? Yes, And indeed. when the root deep down, then he move it to higher ground. Bless up to you and your family. Amen. All right? All right. Bless you. Bless you, Sister Mervis, and walk good now, yeah? <laughs> Run good. <laughs> Run the rest with what? <laughs> you hear that? You must run, but be patient. All right. Well, Bless up. All right, my sister.
All right, bless you, Sister Mervis over there in St. Mary. I have a voice note here. Um, let me see if I can play it. What's going on here? Let me try. Okay. Oh, it's there. Hello. Good night. Good night. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Good night, Hershey. Yeah, man. When I was not a child of God, like, by baptized, I was listening to the real one night and I get a transformation right there. Meaning, I was being attacked by many things. And by listening to the real and they, they said, do this and do that. And the real God showed mightily. And I said, there's an angelic visitation that night. I hear like even the, 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 the lion with the wings. And the eyes them in his wings like the lion. I can see him in the spiritual realm. And I tell us a fun that night. Wow, God is amazing, God. Distance is not a barrier to deliver you, to set you free in Jesus' name. Pray for me and I pray for you. All of the land. There are a lot of life that in transform from radios, radios television god bless you god Peace. bless you Shalom. too god bless you too thank you so much for that one i'm seeing another one here let me see if we can just play a few more i know these persons would have requested prayer well let me see if i just I can play this one more and then the man of god will just um share some instructions with us this morning before he goes and just prayer pray, a final prayer for those who would have sent in their requests late. But just before I play this one, let me take another call. Carla, good morning, you're live. Hi, how are you? I am doing well, who am I speaking with? Where am I? I'm on the radio? Yeah, who's this? Yeah. Who don't want to be okay, on the radio? Russian. You don't want to be on the radio? Yeah, man, Russian. Yes, you're speaking to me, go ahead. You are a prophet. You have been a tower of strength every morning to me. So I need to tell you thanks. And uh, what's your name again? R remind me of your name. I am Mystery Lady. I got that name through the Holy Ghost. Mystery Lady? Yes. I called, but I used to listen to this dish like long ago from when it started. So I'm not a stranger. Okay, okay. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. Okay, so I need to bless you and give thanks for you. Because you are from the race of the tribe of Israel. What do you say? You ever... Yeah, nobody else can tell you that more than me because I'm doing books. Okay. Don't worry about it. I'm okay. a blessed girl. I go through trials and tribulation. Mm -hmm. My wilderness, but it made me stronger. Nice, nice. I like that. Because you know when you're in the faith, there's people that's going to put you down. That's when you rise. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. And I trust you are I remember well. going to your bishop church. It's always going Wednesdays mm -hmm. for extra strength. Yes. Especially where I, when the battle is so hot. Mm -hmm. And when I was outside at the train station, he was saying, where that power is? And when he come at me, I was so small. Mm -hmm. He was asking me, do you always come here? I said, yes. And yes. he was releasing over my life. And then at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I could remember him that I'm St. Mary Lady. So there are times you would pray and said, St. Mary Lady, are the woman I know is at all strength for me. Wow. So I just need to build, big up your bishop also. Nice, 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 nice. And and bless you. And God put you here for a time. As we're in a peace time now. No matter what's happening over there, we have to strengthen our home, Jamaica. Wow, wow. So bless you. I just wake up and heard you on the radio. There ah. are times I want to say hi to you, but mm -hmm. the station is full. Everybody calling. Everybody calling in. And um, yes. the, the, the phone and lines are And I remember clear. when you just go on, everybody saying this. I said, watch and see what God's going to do. And I just keep praying you up, you know? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right? Yes. Yeah, so I'm asking you to pray me up because I lost one of my soldiers. He was like my boss. Mm -hmm. A friend and everything, you know. Wow. Sorry to hear that. I'm just asking her to pray me up while I pray you up. Mm -hmm. And I'll see you in the future, which is now. 
Big up the young man that is on the next slide. I didn't hear his story, but God be with him and strength in Jesus. Okay. You can watch you. you can watch about the replay on um Facebook. No, I YouTube. have a bank. I do things differently. So I use a Oh, bank. you're living under the radar. I'm just missing you too, man. <laughs> I'll tell you about that later, not on the radio. <laughs> All Love right. you like that. Bless up. Peace. Oh. Shalom. All <laughs> right. What good now, my sister. My, yeah. mis my mister friend. Why? Trey, some very interesting listeners. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, man of God, I really want to release you at this time. Um, um, I know I was going to play a voice note, but because of time, I really want you to close out um, the right way this morning um, just to give us some instructions. I know you would have shared, you know, I um, think, think we're getting another call. Let me see if I can take this one. Uh, Hello, morning. Uh, Hi, good morning. What's your name? Melissa from Trelawney. Melissa? Lizzie, Lizzie from Trelawney. Oh, Lizzie from Trelawney. First time calling? Yes. Hi, Lizzie. Oh, what's what's happening with you? I just sit awake and listen to the man of God. Just mind about his his wife? Mm -hmm. Yes, I, so I just want to tell him that purpose never die. Wow. And God now let she leave unfinished tasks behind. He has, to finish he, has, he has a song called Purpose Shall Not Die. You know that song? No. Oh, okay. So I'll play that song a little later on so you can hear it, all right? But continue, okay. go, continue and speak to the man of God. Yes. So I just want to tell him that God not to let her or leave no unfinished task behind. She has to finish her task first. Okay. So Amen. I just I just tell him in just keep hating God and continue to serve God. Yes. So it's a good God. And and it's it it is a faithful God. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. So you have a good night. good morning now, but I was saying. All right, sister and, Lizzie. You're going church to you're going church in the morning or or, or later? No, I'm done with the flu, not the corona, but the original flu. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> the original the orig flu. Why, it, the, that one, at first I hear that one, I, mean, I forgot to take that one there, you know, the original flu. You yes, know, no, like when they're buying clocks or any, any new brand shoe, they, they say, are the original clocks, this one, or the original um, oh, um Reebok because... or something. But you said the original yes. flu, it's not corona. Yes. No, the corona, no. they um, the the counterfeit. Popular one is the popular one. Okay, okay, all right. All right. So you have a good morning, now, but I was in a good day. So guide and stand the word All right. Strengthen yes, God, strengthen yes. you to yes. Sister Lizzie, and thanks for calling. All right. Yeah, welcome. All, all right, right. Bye. All right. Bless you, Sister Lizzie. There, really amazing listeners. You know, really want to thank those who reached out and share um your experiences. Um, you can also post your your comments on YouTube and also on Facebook for my friends who are watching on YouTube and, of course, our friends who are watching on Facebook. Really want to thank you so much for reaching out. All right, so, man of God, go ahead, share those instructions with the listeners, and, of course, really want you to just pray our final prayer. Remember, when you're praying, just pray for the station, Love 101, and so that we can continue on this path. Amen. Yeah, man. And as, and as, as I'm about to share um, these instructions, um, I, 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 I feel led just to, to speak to somebody again. And, and I know we spoke about faith before, but I just want to, to emphasize that faith, you know, um, and, and, and this will come out in the instruction. Um, heading to the instruction, there's a, there's a, there's a, a, a part one. A quick part one. My son is eight years old now, and, and I'm speaking about faith. My son is eight years old now, and when he was born, he was not breathing. He was, he, I think, he, he was born a dead baby. And when he was born, he was born a dead baby. And the, 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 my wife, she was there too long with the baby. She could not push out the baby, and they had her there all long. So the baby took in head water and all those things. And, and when the doctor came and saw, that the baby was so big, they rushed to cut her and to take on that baby, which is that a boy. And when he was born, he was born dead. She was knocked out, she was there, and the baby was dead. When the doctors were rushing the dead baby run past me, 
I was there smiling. My mom was there at the hospital and she was looking and said, some no man, you must be crazy. Your baby dead here, not breathing and dead, and, and all the doctors are run up and down with the baby, and you're there smiling. I said to my mother, I said, the reason why I'm smiling is because I know the God that I serve. I believe in God and I know the God that I serve. They got the baby and they they, they pump back um breath in the baby, but still the baby could not breathe on his own. So they had to push the tube up in his nose, down in his ears, all over in their mouth. They have to him up all over. And that little baby was there. Could not breathe on his own. And the doctor came back to me and the doctor said, look here, the baby might live within the next 24 hours or it might not live. The baby might bleed out. So it's a 50-50 chance that the baby might survive because it's not doing anything on, on its own now. I smile again. My mother gets when I look at me again. I see a still smiling because I know the God that I serve. I, we call all the churches and the churches call, they got the report and all the churches around Jamaica started to pray. Let me tell you something. When the church, with prayer, don't, don't underestimate prayer. And all the churches started to pray. And when the churches started to pray, day one, I went down in prayer. Day two, I went down in prayer. The baby was there and it was not. I, I went to look for my wife and my wife said, let's go and look for the baby. I said, let's go and look for the baby. She said, she don't want to see the baby because she don't want to get attached to the baby because the baby um, possibly might die. And I went there and I smiled and I looked at the baby and everything and such forth. When the church started to pray, at day three, I was ministering at a concert and my wife called and I said, what is it now? I said, what she said, um, you know, she was there crying. I said, what is it? They shave off the baby's hair side to put drip and needle. So I said, that's why you're crying about that. Show up a baby here said he's a boy. He's here, must be cut anyways. They, I think day four, they call and said that baby, I got the call from her. Just finished praying that the baby's breathing is on his own now. The tubes are out and the baby is, is, is doing well and is recovering well. And can I tell you, God took that baby and from we left that hospital, we never have any major issue with that child going back to that hospital for any reason. God heal that child. That boy is eight now, run up and down right around the house and everything full of life. So I'm here to say that whenever the instruction I'm, I'm giving you now, based on that testimony, whenever you are facing things in your life, depend on how your faith is, depend on how you, you believe, that will, will tell you how rough that trip will be. If you believe, it will make it a, a way less stressful. Yeah. It will give you hope. And for too long, we have things that we want to do, things that we want to achieve, or we want to become more spiritual, or we want to become more anointed. We want to launch out in ministry. We want to do all these things. And we have them in our head. And we're afraid to step out because we don't believe. We don't fully believe. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you that. Believe in yourself. Believe in the God that you serve. All the things that you have, write them down on a piece of paper. Yeah, the Bible said, write the vision, make it plain. Write them down, pray over them and believe and start working towards them. God is about to raise up a generation. God is about to raise you up in your ministry in your, your job, in your household, everything that you can think of. God, God, don't, God he wants you to be prosperous. Mm -hmm. He wants you to, to step out on the highways and the byways. He doesn't want you to be locked up in, a, in the four corners of, of a wall. He wants you to step out there and get to do his work. So I'm here to instruct you. Believe and act. And if, if, if you have faith and you don't put the work to it, the Bible says it's dead. So I'm here to encourage somebody. You have always want to do things. You have always want to step out into ministry. You have always want to launch out into businesses. You have always want to launch out to do things that, um, that, 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 that many people think that you can do. I'm here to encourage you. Believe. Believe. It first starts with believing. Believing in God. Believing in yourself. And believing what you have done. Write it down. Pray about it and step out by faith and watch God do things. Watch God turn around things for you. I'd be, I'm here telling you about I speak life. In the COVID time, mm -hmm. everything was lost and God made a way. God multiplied. Right now, I have about four businesses. 
uh, have doors opening that I have to be trying to close some of them because too much doors opening. So I'm saying once you believe and step up by faith, God is going to honor your request. Indeed, indeed. In Jesus' name. Indeed. Indeed. He gives you the vision. And if you step out into the vision, he will make the provision. And that's what God has been doing for this man of God. And for those who have texted in, those who would have shared your testimony, I see your testimony here. Nikki, my friend over there in California, she said, good night, Brother Roshane and Mr. Taylor. When we desire God's grace and favor, he do comes come through for us. Last The last class I had was a retake and a very challenging I fasted and prayed for God to help me to complete the assignments on time. But it didn't Amen. go that way. I was late with some of and missed some and the course closed. But I like I like when I see the word but. But it yes. didn't go that way. Okay, okay, I missed that part. But God saw it fit for me to get an extension and the teacher assigned me a good grade. Thank you, Jesus. Thanks Amen. for your prayers, Nikisha from California. Always on board. Thank you, Nikisha. Thanks for sharing that. Always on board, always sharing our testimonies. And of course, we believe that God is indeed having his way with his people. Man of God, just share a, a final prayer with the listeners of Love 101. Remember to pray for Love 101 as well. Pray for this segment, MPIAW, uh, as the Lord will continue to direct me into the right path. Go ahead, man of God. Yes. God, we come before you once again, God. We come before you. God, we put, first we put you at the front. We pray over this program, God. We pray over this station, God, that it will continue to touch lives, continue to transform lives, God. We come before you, God, because you are the only living and true God. So, God, we give you glory. For all the callers, God, somebody mentioned that we are, they, they need strength to continue this Christian race. God, we pray to strengthen them, we pray to motivate them, God. God, we, we pray, God, for wisdom and understanding, God, for us to understand your word and to live by your word god because when we live by your word then true the truth will set us free and, and that's where we will find favor in you god we pray god for daily decisions that we make god we pray god that you be in the midst of it god we pray that you be in the midst of everything god we pray god for marriages god yes god yes god and i see you doing it right now god we pray for our children we pray for our children in a time like this we pray god that you just be with them we pray that you send angels around them to encamp it run about them god we pray god for parents who are trying to make him meet god we pray god that you multiply jesus god we pray for a spiritual growth god for so long some have some have been there some have been there stagnant god but we pray for spiritual growth god we pray god that you touch the lives of these individuals god god we pray god that you move through us jesus god as we come to you this morning god god we thank you for what you are doing god we see you changing lives through love 101 we see you changing lives through our radio we see you changing lives through this course which is rushing god we pray to touch him and touch his family god i pray god that you give him vision i pray that you open up doors for him, God, that I pray to you help him, which is to bring the ministry far and wide, God. God, we know, God, that your plan, that you have, God, it's great far more than what he is expected, God. So, God, I pray, God, that you continue blessing him, Jesus. God, we thank you for, for our listeners, God. Somebody that is listening to me right now on the sound of my voice, God, they are worried. We pray that you help them to, to have 
faith in you. Help them to believe in you. Help them to trust in you, Jesus. God, because you are a rock on which we stand. And all of our ground is sinking sand. So God, we come before you tonight, God. It's nothing we ask that we know that you can't do because you can do all things, God. So we put all things before you, Jesus. We put all things before you. So God, we thank you for what you're doing and what you're about to do, God. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. And we worship your holy name. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen and amen. Really want to thank you so much, Trig, for stopping by this morning. I know you're a very busy man. I know this man works 24-7, even when he's in his sleep. I know he's playing the instruments while he's sleeping because he's always in his studio. His studio is right at his home there, and I'm really happy for you, really happy for your family, really happy for your ministry, your business, and what God continues to do in your life. I'm praying that God will continue to allow you to elevate. Just remain humble in a season like this. Remain humble. Humility is a powerful thing, you know. I, I've learned to be humble and just wait. You know, I remember there was a time in my life when, you know, I said, God, why? And the Lord said to me, Roshane, wait, humble yourself. So in, it is like the word is spelled Y W Y W H Y. So the Lord said to me, yeah. wait, humble yourself. So sometimes yes. when we have some Y seasons, all we need to do is just to wait and to humble ourselves. We don't know how, we don't know when. You know, I was thinking about the words, you know, I was having a discussion with my wife um, this evening and we were speaking about, or this afternoon, somewhere yesterday. And I remember saying, could, would, should. So I said to myself, you know, you know, I know God made words and man made words as well. Man were inspired to make words. But I'm thinking about these words, could, would, and should. You know, and, the Lord, and my wife was saying, is that devotional theme that you're planning on, on doing on those words? But I'm going to do some extensive studies on those words because sometimes there's some could, should have, would have, yeah. but yes. God, but God. Yes. You know, I know yes. you would, you could have experienced that. It should have gone that way. It would have, but God, I know that yeah. God is the head of your life and let him continue to be so. All right, man of God. And really, amen. bless you. Sir. Is there any final words you'd like to leave with us? Anybody you'd like to say hi to and all of that lovely stuff? I give you the opportunity to do so at this time. Well, I, I just I just wanted just to to bless up uh, my beautiful wife and all my students and all all the persons who you know have been following even my ministry and everything. I just want to pronounce a blessing over you and for every listener, all the listeners, everybody. God bless you all. God bless you. God bless you indeed. Thank you, Trig. All right, so we're going to close things on Facebook. We're going to close things on YouTube. We really want to thank our Facebook friends and also our YouTube friends for stopping by.